Hi, this is James P. Madonna of uh, Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts uh, and Progressive Discussions. And in this case, my political group, Uncensored Hard Hitting Truth, um, as seen on the web under Progressive Discussions and Mega Life 21. Uh, also, oh, check out my weekly uh, progressive internet talk show called Progressive Discussions with uh, myself and my co-host, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. See, what these knuckleheads fail to understand, the right-wing imbeciles, is, first of all, they never look long-term. They always look short-term. They always think in terms of every quarter, like a corporation. They don't realize that the little guy, the middle class and the poor, have always been the backbone of the American economy. When the middle class and the poor have more money in their pocket, more surplus cash at their disposal, they put this money, this surplus cash, back into the economy and stimulate it through spending. Okay? And sales tax and so on and so forth. Uh, how many refrigerators do the rich buy? Okay. There's only so many people in even the top 20%. So the, the fat cats were never the backbone of the economy. Only the little guy, Main Street. All right. And Main Street is part of the middle class. Uh, the, 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 the biggest source of jobs is the middle class, Main Street. Small businesses, emerging growth companies, uh, mom and pop stores. Um, this, these people that are currently being strangled by the burden of taxation, thanks to Ronald Reagan over 30 years ago, these people are the greatest source of jobs and uh, stimulus to the economy overall. It's obvious. It's a no-brainer. But they don't get it because they fail to look long-term. Okay, they're very myopic when it comes to the economy, which is just simple common sense. You know, most of life is simple common sense. Okay, um, you don't have to listen to political analysts and economists razzle-dazzle you with their uh, complex uh, college lecture seminars that you hear possibly every Sunday morning uh, on the lying U.S. media. You don't have to have that. It's really simple. Just put more money back into the pocket of the middle class and the poor and they will spend. That's all. Now, even if the jobs were not outsourced, even if the jobs were kept in the United States, trickle-down economics is a big lie. It always was a big lie. It never worked. It never intended to work. Because the money doesn't trickle down, it, it just pools at the top with the CEO. It's like having a big wine glass, and it's right before the wine glass is ready to overflow with red wine, they just replace it with a larger wine glass. So nothing ever trickles down, ever. And um, that was a big lie. But, you know, the average American knuckleheads, especially uh, those folks that live, uh, uh, those dem dem dar folks that live out of yonder in America, they they believe the right wing bullshit that they hear from uh, from a Mitch McConnell, you know. Um, they they believe they're cultists, evangelical pastors who do not really know what's inside of the Bible. They're cultists. If it's not biblical and you can't back it up, you're part of a cult. 
is no proof that life begins at conception. No evidence. The only thing that's ever mentioned in the Bible about when life begins is when God gave Adam his first breath of life. That's the only time it's mentioned. <clears throat> and that's that. J James P. Madonna signing off. Until again, until we meet again with more words of wisdom.